All right, so I want to focus on preparing uh, the neck joint to attach to the uh, body of the guitar. Now, it's going to be a bolt-on neck with these nut certs, and the nut certs are approximately going to be positioned right about here. You can see I drew a little rectangle in the approximate area where they're going to lie. Now, one thing I do want to do is uh, I want to route out the whole center of this, leaving just about a quarter inch of material material around the uh, outside of the guitar uh, neck of this joint. And the whole, all this inside, all this area here, will be routed out about a quarter inch, and that'll allow me to more easily. Uh, match up the neck joint with the curvature of the body as well as when I want to do uh, neck adjustments when I'm fitting it uh, getting the right neck angle I only have to worry about uh, tuning up this small quarter inch portion of the neck joint that actually will be touching the body and so what I'm going to do is just freehand this basically uh, Got a router here, trim router with a uh, like a rabbiting bit, and I'm just gonna freehand it between the lines, plowing out all the material in the center, and then I'll take a chisel and I'll clean up that edge, uh, nice and straight, and we should be good. So let's get let's get going on this. So now that we've uh, gotten this cavity routed out, uh, I've went ahead and laid out where I want the nut certs to go. Uh, so this is uh, roughly an inch and an eighth down from the top, and that is about two inches down from the top. And I've done a little testing here on a piece of scrap wood, and it seems as though a three-eighths inch, three-eighths three-eighths inch drill bit is the, is the right size for these nut starts. Even though the directions call for a letter G bit or a .261 drill bit, I mean that comes, a .261 drill bit is uh, 17 sixty-fourths. And that is entirely um, too small. Uh, in my opinion, 
You can't even get the damn thing started with that size bit. Um, so, I think a 3 8 bit is the way to go. I really do. And uh, I'm just going to go for it. So, get my scrap piece out of here. in the vise. Now I only want to go down where's my calipers? We are inches about a half inch 0.526 so that is roughly half inch I'm going to go about oh, maybe 9 sixteenths deep uh, in my drill bit. So I want to mark that with a piece of tape. drive it in nice and straight. That's the important thing. You don't want it to be crooked. And we're going to take some super glue, some, some thin super glue. Put it in, let it soak in here real good. Help stiffen this up. So, so we've got the, the neck shape to about as much as I'm going to do right now. Uh, and we've got the nut certs installed and super glued. They've hardened overnight. 
So we are going to now work on attaching this to the, uh, the body. Now, uh, obviously the first thing I have to do are drill the holes. And I think the way I'm gonna do that is create a template that I can use to line everything up. And essentially, I know the measurement measurements here for these holes with the distances. So I'm going to use a piece of scrap wood and drill some holes that are the same distance and use that as a template for, for lining up here on the body uh, of where I need to drill. So let me just show you, it'd be easier. here with the two holes. I'm going to try and just hold this block on the inside, up against the block on the inside so that I can minimize tear out. Here goes nothing. part of this uh, neck so that way only the outside edge do I have to adjust and tune to move the neck up and down so right now the neck you can't really see it on the camera but it is going this way uh, I'm sorry it's cocked this way slightly so what that means is I need to take off a little bit from this edge do that. I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. Dragging the paper, 
if I'm pulling up, this uh, part of the neck is going to be sanded more than this part. So if you want to take off more on the top or more on the bottom, you need to be cognizant of that. Once I get that glued on, then I will more permanently uh, attach the neck and start 
finishing any shaping I need to do, start thinking about the bridge, the tuners, the frets, things like that. But I think this is enough for this video. at this point and uh, appreciate everybody watching hope everyone's staying safe with your COVID and uh, like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time